Hey guys, welcome back. It's Tavis Leaf Clover, and today I'm going to bring you the Canon of Design drawing game. So I created this awesome game. It's pretty addictive. It's for all you artists out there that want to get a little bit better at drawing or wondering what direction they should go. I've seen tons of videos on what proper habits an artist should take to get better at drawing. And typically they say draw every day, carry a sketchbook with you, all these little things but that doesn't really give their sketching purpose. It doesn't give them a goal in mind. So I created this to introduce you to different artists first off. One of the main ways people get better at drawing and learn techniques of drawing is just to copy masters, their paintings, their sketches, everything. So I've got tons of those in there, but I'm also inspired by cinematography, street photography, fashion photography, celebrity photography, all kinds of drawings, paintings, everything. There's over 240 subjects in there and they're all kind of based around building your visual library for drawing a masterpiece on your own and incorporating things like fabrics, textures. Aside from that, what you can't really find just doing the searches on your own is I'm going to introduce you slowly to dynamic symmetry, gestalt psychology techniques, and composition and design techniques. As you work through the game, you'll start to develop and unlock these certain sections of the game, and that'll introduce you to these techniques that the masters used. I've got my sketchbook, I've got the PDF we're gonna run through, and then I've got the dynamic symmetry grids and also supplies that I can show you. So within the game, I've also got some tips and tricks from things that I've learned as I draw. So I don't consider myself a very good drawer, which is why I created this. It all kind of developed as a little project for myself, but as it got more and more in depth, I was thinking just that I could just create this as a free game and everybody could play it and get into it and submit work and all that stuff. So I'm a photographer but I want to get better at drawing so this is definitely helping I've drawn way more than I ever have and it's a lot more fun and I'm excited to use different utensils I'm excited to just you roll the dice and it tells you what to draw it tells you what utensils to use it tells you what tools you can use what grid you can use all that stuff so let's get into this computer I'm just gonna scroll through it and we can get an overview of what it's about and then I'll show you how I'm drawing in my sketchbook and then I'll show you the grids and supplies too so here we are in the game and this is gonna be a free PDF and it's downloadable on December 25th, 2017. So I'll just scroll through. You can submit your work on Facebook, on the Facebook group and get critiques back. You can also tag your drawing in Instagram and submit your drawing by doing hashtag COD drawing game. Cause I know a lot of you probably are already good at drawing, but you may not know the other techniques like dynamic symmetry, arabesques, ellipses. You might not know how to incorporate that into your art like the masters did to create unity, movement, and you might not know the gestalt psychology stuff. So this is a really fun way to introduce you to all those techniques. So here's the intro. I just tell you how I developed it and how I came about it. A little picture of all the supplies. I list all the supplies for you. So you can take a look at those. You'll probably have half of these if you're already into drawing. And then I write a couple different philosophies on why you should share your work and why master copies are good, but you should excel past that plateau. Because if you do master copies your whole life and all you're doing is copying someone, you're kind of like a cover band that's just playing someone else's songs. You're, you're talented, you're really talented, but you're not original. And I think one thing that all artists strive for is to be original and create their own masterpiece. I also show you some drawings of mine that I've done that I, I like them, but I know they're technically not that good and I don't consider myself a very good drawer, which is why I'm doing this drawing game. But this one's old, this one's from my college days, inspired by Dolly. But I didn't know really how to place objects and I didn't know how to compose them with unity and movement and things like that. So that was way before design. This is a master copy of Picasso's Weeping Woman and I show you what the original looks like. It's the original piece I tried to design, bought a couple books and I'm reading through them and I'm still learning how to render light and still create design techniques like aerial perspective, dynamic symmetry, ellipses, coincidences, all that stuff. And it's just something abstract, cubist kind of stuff. So we've got tons of rules, but they're all like nothing too crazy, just how you can earn more points, how you can get double the points, you can lose points. I list all those things and describe them and explain them 
them in there. You can also win this game. Each section unlocks after a few thousand points. So how you earn points in this game is you basically get one point per minute that you've drawn. So after 500 points, a new utensil will unlock. After so many other points, something else will unlock. So you just kind of gradually collect points and unlock new sections just to start you out slowly not to overwhelm you too much in the beginning. Because for me, since I'm not a good drawer, I'm not confident with my drawing skills, I definitely wanted to start out slow and it's it's definitely helping. I didn't feel overwhelmed. I just used my favorite utensil to draw in the beginning and it got me going. Here we have all the details you can keep track of as you work through the game. And I'll show you that on the sketchbook in just a sec. Each dice is explained what they're used for. I have. 30 different categories of subjects and eight different subjects in each category. So that'll definitely keep you busy. And even if you roll the same subject, you can draw it again, or in the rules, it'll say what else you can do. So you've got different drawing utensils you can unlock, you got different drawing techniques like crosshatch, stippling, scumbling, rendering light and volume, hierarchy of detail, distortion, truncation. And I've got a little glossary that you can thumb through and kind of get an idea of what the technique is. We'll go through the gameplay here in a sec and I can explain as I play it and just give you an idea of what's going on. So one other thing I mentioned is that you eventually want to transcend representation and be original. Unless your job is to be an illustrator of medical terms and medical photos and things like that or if you're a stock photographer and you just want things on a white background real generic like then everybody else they should be seeking to be original and surpass the just looking at it and seeing what is in front of them and drawing it in a photorealism kind of way. If it looks exactly like a photo, then maybe you should just take a photo because being an artist, you have the ability to surpass any type of photo, surpass the photo by lighting, different techniques, dynamic symmetry, aerial perspective, things like that to communicate it in a different way than just taking a photo. And we've got drawing tools you can use, phi calipers, ruler, compass, triangle, and all the different design techniques. And I add a brief description on there. I also go through Gestalt psychology principles and add a description there. And then to demonstrate what that looks like, I show you an analyzed painting of Bouguereau and show how he used these design techniques. So there's 11 grids and they're included in the back of the PDF for a free print that's sized to a large sketchbook or a small sketchbook. And that way you can trace them. So here's mine. These are the grids that I printed and laminated. So it's a square root one through root nine. And then you've got the five rectangle grids. So you just trace it in your sketchbook. You can use the diagonals to mark up where you need to draw your reciprocal and things like that. So it comes in really handy. So in the game, you also have a square section that's for beginners, or if you don't have enough time, you can start the square section. If you don't have enough confidence in your drawing skills like me I use the square a lot you can use that and you can just trace it into your sketchbook that way you have your border already set and it'll help you find the proportions and things so I just keep that in the same bag I got printed from FedEx and I keep it in the back of my sketchbook but those are the grids and I've also got a couple links for videos that you can understand the dynamic symmetry and how they're used in art also I have some videos on how you can build the grids yourself in Photoshop and then I demonstrate another master copy that I did of Picasso and another drawing I did of vegetables warming up a pop tart. This is one of my first designed drawings and I'm still learning, like I said, how to render light and things like that. I'm sharing my artwork in hopes that I will get a lot better. And I hope you guys will do that too, because they're gonna be used as stepping stones for better work. All right, so these are examples of gameplay. You can run through that and see what my drawings look like. And then once you win, how you win is you earn 65,000 points, which isn't that much if you're already drawing and you're getting better at drawing. It's definitely enough to get the feel for drawing, get the feel for these techniques, and be confident in your work and share it. So how you win is you get 65,000 points, and then you do a video flip through of your sketchbook to share with everybody and you're gonna get your name in here permanently and it's gonna have a link to your sketchbook flip through video and then you're gonna get a certificate of achievement emailed to you so that'll be cool it's just something that rewards you for doing awesome at your drawing I also list a lot of inspiring art instructors some videos and books and then we get into the subjects which there's over 240. So like I said, there's the square section that you can draw if you're new to this, or if you just wanna draw something real quick, whatever you rolled or you're running off to work and you only have like 20 minutes to draw, start with the square. 
So these are all the subjects, and these are all copywritten by the original artist. These are just to introduce you to new artists and share their work because they're super inspiring, and instead of master copying random people, these give you a subject to work with and introduce you to them. So all of these artists on here, really inspiring. Some of my own photos are on there, but I'm also opening it for submissions. If you have a nice photo or drawing or painting, and you feel like your drawing or painting would fit into this subject or category, then you could submit it and I'll take a look at it. And then if it's awesome, then I'll throw it in there and people will be drawing your work. So that's kind of cool. So let's take a look at this. This is my sketchbook. I got this at um, Barnes and Noble. It's a uh, Mondrian. He's another master painter. I thought it was cool because it relates to painting. So we'll just show a couple of my beginning sketches, which I've never drawn half of this stuff and I would have never even thought to draw half of it, but it is what it is. I started with the square and I tried to do the best I could with the leopard that I rolled. And then this is a surreal photo by Alex Stoddard. He's a young surreal photographer. He's really good. You should check his stuff out. But I like his work and it's awesome that I can start to draw some of my inspirations. This is uh, Sid Mead. And I'm gonna do a close up of all this stuff because I know you probably can't see the details. But up here at the top, you'll see in this beginning one, I'm so lazy when it comes to drawing. I always think I have too much stuff to do. So what I do is I start out with 10 minutes. I think I can do 10 minutes of drawing. 10 minutes is nothing. So I'll get it set up. I draw my square, roll the dice, log all my info here, sharpen my pencils, start the 10 minutes on my phone and start to draw. And 10 minutes later, I'm like, okay, that wasn't so bad. So I set another 10 minutes and it just keeps going and going. And maybe I'll stop at 20 minutes or just keep going until 40 minutes or whatever. But you'll see all the 10 minutes up here that I logged and how long it took me to draw it. And then the next drawing, I add my points. So it took me 130 minutes to draw that leopard. And then I still do it. I still do the 10 minutes because it helps me psychologically fake myself out and gets me drawing a lot more. And so if you draw consecutively day after day, you get 10 extra points. So you'll see on here that I got 10 X, that's 10 extra points because I drew in consecutive days. So it's a nice reward and it keeps you motivated to draw the next day so you can get your points. So this is a Sid Mead, it's an awesome illustrator and I did the best I could. I actually, when I was working through this, I found some design techniques that I wanted to improve and I should have because I would have earned extra points. I just forgot the rules for a sec, but if I improved the figure grind relationship here, I would have got a little bit extra points. Anyway, but I finished that one. And this one, I earned 600 points, so I unlocked a new section, which was the drawing utensil section. So I rolled a uh, Conte, so I drew this with graphite. You can start with graphite in the beginning to lay in and block in the subject, and then I finished it with Conte. I'm not using anything like blending tools or anything like that. You can if you want, but for me, I like to blend with pencil. So theoretically, what I've learned as I research more about painting and drawing, if you blend with a pencil, it prepares you more for painting instead of like if you're using your finger to rub in things or using blending tools. If you're using pencil to blend in, then it's preparing you to lay down a stroke and be done with it just like painting. So here's another one. This is a, a VCR from the 80s that I rolled and I got charcoal on that one. So that's charcoal. And then another one, this one I used, I'm still on the same section. I didn't unlock any new sections, but I used a ruler so that earned me 20 extra points because I used a ruler. And I used the ruler around there to draw those straight lines and that's what I rolled a Nintendo system from the 80s because there's a section in there that's uh, called things from the 80s. So you never know really what you're gonna get. And this is another one, the current one I'm working on, it's a painting by Magritte. He's a surrealist painter. And this is a painting he created with rock and ocean. But this is in the textures section to teach you textures, which I've never drawn textures either. So all these things adding up, it's given me more confidence. The structure of Sid Mead's piece of art, the texture of this painting, the texture of this, drawing an animal. Rubens drew tons of animals with Franz Snyder and then the human body. All this stuff is gonna add up to something that I wanna create by myself, but it's gonna give me a lot more confidence in what I wanna do. So that's all I have drawn so far. And I've got over a thousand points and I'm gonna fill this puppy up. So let me show you the drawing utensils and supplies that I've got. 
This is actually my flash case that I got, but it works perfect because I've got my sharpener there, the lead pointer. I've got a film canister that holds my kneaded eraser in there. The lights that I clip onto my easel there, the dice. And then I've got razors. All the tools are up here. The phi calipers, compass, ruler, and triangle. And then I've got all of the other tools, drawing utensils in here. So the charcoal and the Conte, I put a ballpoint pen cover on there and then tape it just because I don't want these tips to break off because I hate sharpening those pencils. And then I've got little mechanical pencils in there. But that list is all in the PDF, the whole supply list. So let's get into, I'm gonna show you how I roll the dice and then how I select the subject. And I just use my phone to time everything and look at the PDF and draw from the subject from there. All right, so I've got the dice out and I only use, since I haven't unlocked all the areas, I only use a couple of the dice. And I've got pictures in the PDF that show you what the dice looks like. So I've got the time dice, I've got the 30-sided dice, that's the subject category, and then the eight-sided dice, which is the actual subject, that's that one. And then I unlock the drawing utensil section, so I get the 10-sided dice, and that's this one. So I put the rest back, and I'm not gonna worry about those until I unlock new sections. All right, so then, just roll the dice. Let me know which one I wanna draw. All right, so I got category 16, put these up here. I got 100 minutes, that's zero, zero, that's 100 minutes of drawing. And if you don't have time to draw, just do the 10 minute thing, which I'll probably do 10 minute drawing if I roll that, because psychologically it helps me draw more. But draw the 100 minutes if you can, if you have time. And then this one is a one, that's the 10 sided dice. So that's my drawing utensil and then a three. So let's see what it looks like. So I get my phone. So I know I'm drawing 100 minutes. My subject is going to be 16 textures. In the back of the PDF, I added a quick reference, a dice quick reference. So you can just, when you're on your phone, you can just scroll all the way to the end and check the dice reference real quick. So I'm on textures and then subject 16 and three. So this is the drawing I would draw. That's a photo I took, but it's got textures in there. They got the hair and then the texture of the coral in that drawing. So that's what you would draw. And then the drawing utensil I rolled is a one. So that's the fountain pen. So I would draw this with the fountain pen and I can use the, the square or I could draw the whole thing. So what I would do is just log this in here. I would write it at the top, just copy my points over, add them all up, write the date, add the points total, and then how much I have to draw today, which is 100. And if it's a consecutive day, I would put 10X, that's 10 extra points. And then I would put the drawing utensil on there, which would be the fountain pen. And then I'd continue to draw. So I'd get all that set up. I'd probably use, for this, I would probably draw the square since I'm not that confident in drawing all that hair and all the coral and stuff. I will be confident to do that eventually, but for now, I'm just gonna probably do the square. I'm not gonna draw it now, but I'm gonna show you how I do this. And then I'd take the square dynamic symmetry and then I'd trace my border around there and then I'd start to draw. And I'd just start to lay it in with graphite and then once I got that laid in, I would use the fountain pen to draw in the details and the, the shadows and render the light. So that's how I draw. And I just use my, put this on my lap, use my phone, set my timer, put it on 10 minutes, and it's all right there. Just get to drawing, pretty easy. So anyway, I'm really excited to launch this and I'm excited to see what you guys can come up with with all these different subjects. And if you wanna submit anything, if you're a really good artist, maybe you can even take this game and show other artists how you would draw the certain subject. That way they can absorb your knowledge because I am not really, I know the design techniques and the composition techniques and all that stuff, but I, am, I don't consider myself good enough to teach anybody how to draw. What I know about drawing is listed in the drawing tips of the PDF, but it's just reminders that I'm trying to remind myself. It's not like I'm trying to teach anybody how to draw well. This is a project for me and it's a project for everybody else to share. So we can all learn to draw a lot better and learn design techniques and dynamic symmetry, gestalt psychology, all that stuff. So since a lot of artists aren't taught this in certain schools and they're not even aware of any of these techniques, this is a great way to continue the tradition of the masters and continue to create original, amazing, 
unique art. But thanks so much. Thanks for all the support. This is a free gift for everybody that's giving me support and for the other artists that just want to get so much better at drawing. Check it out. It's on my site and there's links below. But until next time, I hope you guys have a happy new year, happy holidays, and look forward to maybe, maybe I'll do a drawing demo of me playing the game or answer some questions or things like that. So take care guys. Thank you so much. Bye.